We're going to talk now about some enhanced umbrella rig techniques. Umbrella rigs are, uh, as, as it sounds like, an umbrella hanging with a lot of different lures off of it. We'll take a look at some here in just a minute. And uh, what the umbrella rigs do is to put a focused amount of lures directly in front of the fish. And there's going to be anywhere from five to nine lures on each rig, and we put out four rigs at a time. So you can have anywhere from 25 to 35 jigs coming through the water into a school of fish, which gets them excited and gets them to hit. A small rig, I call it the Cat and Jim Special, you can actually take this smaller rig as well and put it on a planer board and run it up right against the bank, put it back about 50, 60 feet, run about two and a half miles an hour, and uh, it'll work really, really well. Now as you're deploying your umbrella rigs, the speed of the deployment is key in making sure you get them out correctly. As you put these rigs out at 2.5, we're going to be trolling these walls 2.5 to 2.4 miles an hour. And the speed of your boat and the distance back will uh, affect uh, the deployment of your rig. Yeah, there's a couple of nice fish that came in, hold right on the hump. You can see their big arches. That's a fish, that's a good 25 pound fish there, holding right on the edge of these humps and these walls here. Now that's a nice, uh, that's uh, five jigs there. That's the type of rig, the smaller rig. You can take it and you can run it out on a, um, on a um, planer board and it'll work real good. Always want to make sure your, your tails are free and clear. Sometimes as you deploy, they may get caught on a hook, but it all looks like it's running good now. So we'll go ahead and get that one out. A lot of times as we're out here, these uh, schools of stripers, they're going to stack up on these sheer drop ledges along the canyon wall. He liked that red and white, didn't he? He's gonna be this time. That's a, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm not gonna eat any more fish. We caught so many yesterday. in the water.
that's good fish. That's what we're looking for. Hey guys, we got our planer boards out now and uh, we have some down rods out. We have 12 live baits out at once. What I'm gonna do now is to throw, it's sort of an overcast day. The fish should be hanging near the surface. This is one of my favorite lures to throw. As you can see, it's got two sets of trebles. It's a blade bait. It puts up a tremendous vibration, has a little bit of a white feathers in the back. And as you can see it in the water how it works, I'll, if we zoom in on the lures that's coming through the water here, watch it, you can, uh, you can see the vibration it puts out. It's a nice vibrate, it imitates a, a, a wounded shad. Another one of my favorite lures uh, to use uh, for casting, hair jig. If, as you see, this one is a three quarter ounce. It is uh, white on white with a little bit of chartreuse and then with a chartreuse trailer. This is your classic hair jig to throw. And uh, essentially, uh, you can fish it pretty quick across the surface. You can bounce it up and down off the bottom. Try some different techniques. In essence, what I'm gonna do is we look over here to this rock wall. I'm going to fish this wall in this point and, and have the lure land maybe 10, 15 feet off and then just let it sink down for a good 10 to 15 seconds, get down there to where I know it's on the bottom. Sometimes the fish will take it on the way down. So now that it's down there, then I'll just kind of hop it up and just swim it back with little hops, let it sink. And then you can, you can vary your retrieve as well. Sometimes you can do it quick with a stop and go retrieve and then let it sink. So as it swam up and then it's sinking down and swimming up, and, uh, but hold on to your rod tight because these fish will hit like a freight train. You have a big 30 pound fish hit this thing moving 20 miles an hour when he hits it. It will just about yank the rod out of your hand. So hold on to it tight. And as we uh, take a shot of the wall over there, we can see. And pretty much that's what it's gonna look like all the way down. Different boulders, the stripers will lay beside those big rocks. It's one of the reasons they call them rock fish. They'll lay in there. So we're gonna let that jig sink down just a little bit. And we'll continue to work him. And uh, he's on the bottom now, so I'll just hop him up just a little bit, let him sink back down. And sometimes you can just bring him in with a nice slow retrieve, and they like that. Sometimes they'll take it halfway back to the boat, you just never know. As we zoom in on this lure coming in in the water here, you can see the action on him. So again, if you drop it, he'll just drop. See how they drop? You drop it and he kind of falls and you can work it back and forth. And uh, these things are just deadly, absolutely deadly on the stripers. <laughs> 